Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. It's going to be a recap of the earlier stream. Uh, if you'd like to join me on my stream, the link is in the description as well as the comments. It's the Good Free Photos channel. I'm streaming on my backup channel. Also, check out Crypto Daily Updates. Um, that is one video per day. All the great crypto news. Check that out in the description and comments. And also join my Twitter to get all the announcements. So, let's actually start right now. Let's actually start with DeFi. Yes, DeFi is in a lot of trouble. DeForce and Lend.me actually got breached again for $25 million. That is the entire sum of money on Lend.me. This is like pretty much the third or fourth breach in DeFi in just as many weeks. Um, and the thing is, like, it's not a security vulnerability on uh, Ethereum or anything else, but it's essentially like lack of regulation honestly it's a combination between this thing called imbtc token erc777 uh, protocol and the platform itself now lend.me had 25 million dollars staking uh stolen from it uniswap actually had 1.1 million dollars staking from it now the guy who was actually uh stole the money is actually somewhat suing for peace but i think we should destroy him maybe make an example i think people should be noticed that there are i think we do need to make an example just to make sure that people actually are uh people actually do get noticed um that there are consequences for hacking these things this should not be treated any differently from a bank robbery so i do think the authorities need to catch them and punish them pretty hardly uh, uh, pretty hard to actually make people make sure that hey this is the same thing as a bank robbery you're stealing people's money but regardless this breach was actually known on github for several months they published it last july they just didn't bother to fix it and i think like the the platform and the people responsible for this should definitely be punished as well some people are thinking it's an inside job whether it's it is or not i'll leave that up to you but the platform basically got all its money stolen from it and it's a very very easy hack the hacker wasn't even professional because he didn't actually cover up his tracks he actually leaked some important metadata that actually helped us define who actually is and that's probably why he's actually suing for peace but the thing is an, an inexperienced hacker used a simple loop exploit to actually like double deposit and the second deposit was very small so they just did that over and over again to withdraw his original coins so he basically withdrew the entire IMBTC balance uh, based on some very small second deposits. So it was a simple like loop exploit that basically GitHub actually announced last year that they just didn't fix in the damn thing. So like that's what happens when you don't have real industry regulation. It's another big blow for DeFi. And honestly, like I'm not touching DeFi for a while. Definitely not touching DeFi uh, for a long time until they get some of these... Uh, issues actually sorted out because even for maker they had massive issues in scaling and when the chain link nodes actually stopped for six hours and like you know maker actually dropped now they're getting sued now this is another breach we just had another breach like a week or two ago as well so it's all these breaches make me have less and less confidence in the entire d5 market i know like some of you are saying oh you shouldn't lose confidence in d5 i still think d5 will be pretty decent in the future um pending that they don't actually just ban stable coins at all uh, overall but the thing is like right now even for maker like i don't want to touch any of that stuff with so many breaches in such a short time period i mean yes there are credit card security issues every time but we hear maybe like one every six months one every year right now we're hearing one like every single week for DeFi, and that's just like not something that anyone including me wants to deal with so i'm not really interested in actually i'm not really that interested in DeFi for right now because of that reason, and I don't think that a lot of people are going to be if you don't resolve a lot of these problems. Let's next, let's actually take a look at oil. Oil futures actually dropped to like negative today on one of the futures contracts. It actually sold at negative $36. That means someone's paying you to take oil off their hands. Obviously, like the average oil futures did not drop that much. The average oil futures was still at around $20 for the month of May. But I saw oil at 99 cents here and even less than 99 cents. I haven't seen that since the elder days. Like that was like high school when oil, when oil was actually that much. In all my driving years, I've barely ever seen. Maybe like the first year I started driving, I saw oil at that price. Now it is that price all over. Very, very, very cheap gas right now. But that's very bad for the stock market. Those shale producers are going to... Um, have a really really tough time i know it's really bright because the sun's shining and i don't have control over that didn't put the sheet over that yet but um 
like the shell producers are going to have a very hard time surviving, unfortunately. And because the shell producers are going to have a very time time surviving, many of them are actually going to shut down and they're going to lay off those workers. Those jobs cannot be replaced very easily because those are high paying jobs. Those are not McDonald's jobs. So I can expect more downturn in the economy as oil prices tank. And um, basically, that's kind of all the news I actually have for today, uh, for right now, those two things. But the DeFi thing is actually really, really huge. That needs to be looked at. If you're in DeFi um, or you're looking into DeFi, uh, I would hold off the investments on that for right now. Yes, I do believe there will be a boom sometime. But for the time being, like, DeFi is really kind of screwed right now because there's just not that much trust in it oh the other thing is like cbdc's actually have more trust within the uh, within the populace than either stable coins or cryptos there's a significant amount of people that just trust cbdc's a lot more than cryptos like central bank backed coins people trust those and they're more willing to use those than cryptos or def uh, or other stable coins or defi i can definitely understand their sentiment after all these hacks and breaches for defi over the last few weeks so i don't blame them uh for them not trusting crypto and DeFi after this, because right now for the last like the last two or three months, it's kind of been a disaster for DeFi and for the stable coins backing that DeFi and central bank issued cryptocurrencies. Yes, the U.S. dollar does depreciate by two, um, like does depreciate by about two percent each year. But you're not going to lose everything in one go. And I think like people are noticing that, and that's why they have more trust in CBDCs. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, and please subscribe to me on Twitter. Thank you, and have a nice day.